Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. In this video, I will show you how to fly an approach with the iFly 737 and the new FSI Panel 2020. First of all, something very important in your configuration, I want to show you this, it's in the user manual. I just want to make sure that all of you have the right settings to fly with FSI Panel. So let's say we're gonna fly a 600 today, 737-600. I just have to check something very important in the setting normally by default it's okay but better make sure if you go to the settings what we have to check here is the cdu entry that you have cdu entry without delay you see here without delay this is important because fsi panel will set your speed and everything for you so this is important so when we are done once we are done with this sorry we can start loading the fuel and our aircraft like we want here so if you're satisfied with this here we have some center tank fuel, we don't need it, so I will put 0% there. And we're going to have about 4 tons of fuel, all good, so I will update it, done. Alright, so now in P3D, we are going to load any iFly we want. Here I will go for the 737-600 as we said, so let's go for it. You can see any airport, if you plan to fly in Europe, Put your aircraft in Europe already, that will help for the positioning. So now we can fly in the United States, so I will leave it as the default. You can see that no aircraft detected so far. This is normal. So now we wait until the simulator loads the uh, iFly 737. It will take around 15 seconds. Now I see on my system it's loading. I will show you that in a minute. It's on another screen. Okay, now you can see 737-600 has been loaded, so let's go in P3D. And I have now my iFly 737 here at the default airport with engine running. It's very important that you have engine running, otherwise you will get a warning from FSI panel. So engine should be running, your IRS must be aligned. So basically when you start the iFly, now everything is as it should be. We don't have to set anything, we just go directly into FSI panel. And let's try a vector. So let's say we want to fly in Los Angeles. We will go on runway, let's say 24 left, there is an ILS, and we will go on vectors. All right, so we are ready to fly. So let's move aircraft and see what happens. So you see your flaps are moving. Now the aircraft is getting into position. You can see your uh, autopilot has been set. Now you can look at your FMC, you see that the speed has been set, auto brake will be set, and now we are reaching 2400, which is our target altitude, so we'll be able to take control in around 10 seconds maximum. So here, as always, do not touch anything while FS when FSI panel is doing the positioning for you. All right, so now everything looks good. You can see on top, aircraft ready for your training, hold your brake for two seconds to take control. So at this stage, I can still do anything I want with my FMC, so let's do that. FSI panel has set for you all the performance page with the cruise altitude and everything, but not the route. So we'll just do the route and we'll take a snapshot. If you intend to fly several times this approach, I suggest you take a snapshot. So very easy, as you can see, I will do it now. Arrival, I will take ILS24 left. We don't need anything, so I will go to leg, activate execute. Now if we look into uh, our uh, screen, we can see that Suti is in front of us. I'll go Suti, inbound intercept course 251. Now my FMC is set. I could set my minimum, everything I need, and when I'm ready now, before I go for flying, I will show you the snapshot. So we're going to just take a snapshot here and I will put on vector, for example. You can put anything you like here and here you can put put here your description now we click on save snapshot it will take a few seconds and we have the message snapshot save successfully okay now i will take the control and i am flying my approach let's say we want to be on short final now we don't want to fly this approach or we fly it of course let's make a short approach then i can show you the after landing flow so we'll go to short final and I just click move aircraft and now you will see that the gears going down you see the flaps are moving to 30 
and then the aircraft will be positioned for you. Here you see heading vertical speed with our target altitude is now 1100 feet. We can see that we have the speed brake arm, auto brake has been set to two. We're approaching 1100. The runway is in front of us. Alt acquired, so we'll get the control very soon. Voila, we have the control. Aircraft ready for your training, audio brake to take control. So again, all your cockpit has been set correctly. You're ready to go. So I will take the control and we'll do the landing. Here we go, slightly left of center line. We will see if we get any comment on this. I will start braking and I will show you the after landing flow as well as the landing report. All right, so we will take next right or next left. So to do the after landing flow, what you need to do is make sure that your speed is below 30 knots. Otherwise, it will not work. And then you just retract one clutch of flaps. So let's see, now we are vacating the runway. I uh, will retract one step of flaps. And now you can see on top, after landing procedure in progress, everything will be done now by my first officer FSI panel while I can taxi my plane to the gate. So you see the flaps are going up, auto brake has been switched to off. If I stop here to show you the work, we can see that the lights has been, have been switched off, except the taxi light that we have, the engine start switches to off, the APU is starting, the probe bits are switched off, your flaps are up, and the transponder is now in uh, altitude reporting off. So all your flow is done, you just have to taxi your airplane. Let's have a look at our landing report. Exactly, training required, but otherwise we can see that was not too bad. And now if we want to fly that snapshot, let's say we want to do it again, we will go into load snapshot. We have, we found here our snapshot that we just save, select, and I will just have to click move aircraft and we will see what happened. From that position we just landed, we should be back in the air with flaps five on the vector. So let's see if that works. We see that a route is there. We see that we are in the right position. The speed 178, correct. Our routing has been inserted and we are capturing 2400. We'll be ready in uh, less than five seconds. Now we are ready. I hold my brake and I have control and I can fly another approach. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. I wish you safe landings on the 737 from my fly. It's a beautiful aircraft. And I see you very soon for another video. Thank you for watching and as always, safe landings.